Well, hello everybody and welcome to another iPhone app review. And today I'm going to be looking at the App Store app on the iPhone. Now, I actually had my iPhone for about six months before I realized what the App Store app actually did. And uh, once I started playing with it, I realized it was just a gateway to amazing apps on your iPhone. So obviously when you first buy an iPhone, it comes with the um, native apps, um, but the App Store is a fantastic way to keep your eyes and ears on, on the latest trends, uh, on, on things people are buying, and on things that are selling. So, you know, there's a, there's a few ways you can use this. Uh, obviously, if you're, um, if you're looking for a certain uh, function or feature uh, from an app, this is a, a great way to be able to find it. Um, but obviously, if you're looking, if you're a business, uh, if you're an entre entrepreneur, an online marketer, or run any sort of um, you know business in any industry, it's also a great way to keep an eye on what's selling and what's hot in your arena. So I'm just going to give you a little tour today of some of the features of the App Store app, and I'll talk you through how to how to actually navigate this app. It's pretty simple. Um, Apple have organized it in a really logical and simple way. Now this is the screen that comes up with uh, when you open the app. Um, as you can see here down the bottom left, it's got featured, categories, top 25, search and updates. And I'm going to talk you through those real quick. If we start through uh, features here down the bottom left, um, you can see up the top it's got new, what's hot and genius. Now new apps are obviously new featured apps that basically have been recently released on the App Store and if you just scroll up um, it's in a variety of different categories um, so feel free to have a look around and obviously if you, something tweaks your interest and you want to see more you just tap on the actual app and the App Store will tell you um, what's going on with uh, the ratings and it'll also show you what uh, the information on the actual app itself so you can read what is new to the this particular version um, so over here it lets us know that Homer Simpson um, can be your co-pilot and you can just keep scrolling down and if you like the app obviously uh, you then just tap on the uh, purchase button I actually already have this this particular app in, on my iPhone and it's really good and you can install it uh, directly from uh, the App Store uh, so there's obviously some other choices and other um, tabs here for you to click through on and navigate those as you see fit. Under what's hot, um, this is a measure of a, a, a lot of the more recent and more popular apps. Uh, a lot of them are free as you can see here and, and some of them are paid. Um, I really actually like browsing through some of the, the Hall of Fame apps. Obviously if you've got a new iPhone as well um, you know it's, it's pretty essential it says here App Store Essentials to install a lot of the, the apps here on the Hall of Fame I'm just gonna click through and um, I've actually reviewed a lot a lot of these apps um, but once you go through to the Hall of Fame and you can scroll through and see uh, what mo you know have been really really popular since the since the beginning you can also sort by popularity and you can also sort by release date so there's, there's, there's just a, a lot of different ways to find cool apps and, um, and get them onto your iPhone. If it says free, uh, you can just go through to the app, tap on uh, free, tap on install, type in your iTunes password and it'll uh, automatically get installed onto your iPhone and you can just start using it immediately, which is really cool. Now the Genius tab in the top right here is uh, a function that allows Apple to allows the app to give you recommendations based on the purchases and on some of the apps you already have on your iPhone and some of your browsing behavior. So it's uh, it's pretty cool for uh, you know if you're just looking for a recommendation or you're looking for a quick suggestion, tap on the genius. But you've got to have it switched on, so make sure it's switched on. Moving down here. Under the categories tab, uh, here are the main categories that developers uh, release their apps under, and it's just great to um, scroll through and you know visit your favorite categories and see what what's going on and um, what what are the favorite the, the top apps happening in that category. So I like productivity as one of them, as you well know. If you've 
listen to a lot of my app reviews, I always talk about how it can make your life more productive. Once you go into a productivity or a, a category, you, you again um, get these options up here, the top paid ones, the top free ones, and the release date. Uh, and again, you can just basically scroll through. If you see something you really like or could use, uh, you tap on the actual app and it gives you more information, option to buy, uh, the ratings, and you can just you know scroll through. And it also gives you screenshots as well if we, if we get down to the bottom here. Um, and then you can just scroll through and see what it kind of looks like on your iPhone uh, through the screenshots. So it's, it's, it's very cool, it's very simple to use and um, you know, if you've just you know, got a ten, spare 10 minutes and you're looking for an app to do some, a certain task or a certain uh, thing that, that you've been uh, wanting to use your iPhone for but haven't been able to do it, then uh, you know, using the App Store is just a great way to do that. Uh, now if we move to top 25, here we get just a, a blanket listing um, across all categories of the top paid apps, top free apps and top grossing apps. So it's, it's always uh, interesting to just come back and have a look and see how the rankings change and what are the top apps for the moment. And uh, for the moment, you know, we can see that they're mostly games. So people love gaming on their, their mobile devices. Um, and there are some, some really cool games up here. Uh, the top free one is also very popular simply because you can um, just download them immediately and start playing and you don't have to pay anything. And as, uh, as I've explained with all the other uh, categories, you know, just have a look around and see what you like and ask your friends what they're playing. And, and uh, a lot of these are starting to have, um, you know, multiplayer gameplay and um, hooking up through, um, through multiplayer networks. So it's pretty fun and, in and interesting. Uh, under the search icon, any keywords that, um, that you've been looking for, like for example, I, I love playing golf and uh, you know I've just been looking at different golfing apps to help me with my golf swing, um, different tips, um, also different uh, apps to give me rules when I'm out on the golf course. There's some great golf GPS trackers, you know, and all I need to do is type in the keyword and, and I can scroll down and it, it just comes up with all the, uh, the apps that have matching keywords in it and I can just choose. So I found some great apps um, just by the search option that don't necessarily come up on all the other options here. And um, yeah, it's, it's just a, it's a great feature as well. And finally, down the bottom right, the update icon. Just basically uh, every couple of weeks or months, depending on the popularity of the app and, and how uh, things change in the app's environment. For example, um, we know that um, you know we know that Google, for example, changes its features on Google Calendar uh, quite regularly. So, for a Google Calendar app in order to stay on top of things they're going to need to adapt and change and make tweaks to their app so um, or, or an, a developer might find that their app is crashing on certain systems etc uh, etc et and they might want to upgrade the app uh, to make sure that it you know continues to evolve and grow um, so this this function just gives you a one uh, shot snapshot of all the apps that you have that you you um, should upgrade um, and you know sometimes you have to pay for an upgrade um, and sometimes it's free um, you just need to go in and uh, go to each app and, and find out uh, what you need to do and it's always obviously good to have the latest uh, updates on all your apps but on the downside they, it does change you know quite regularly especially if you've got over 20 to 30 apps um, there's, there's always going to be apps needing your attention so you might want to do it once a month or once a quarter so that's pretty much the App Store in a nutshell. Um, you know, in summary, it's an amazing tool to be able to find new ways to use your, your mobile device. Come in and have a look at some of the categories in your industry, see what's going on, see what people are buying. Um, and yeah, just have a lot of fun with it. This is Wes signing off, and I'll see you in the next video.